Hogwarts Legacy Episode 6. Let's play. Like yesterday, I don't have much time today, but uh, I want to play. So you must endure the presence of a fire that you don't watch. So, my goal here is get a fucking broom. I want to fly. Let's see if that was in my quests, because I don't remember which store that was. Flight test. Purchase a broom at Spint Witches. Don't mind if I do. Maybe it's even visible here. Mm-hmm, and there's a quest waiting here. Spint Witches, never mind. Um, let's go there. Do they have open 24-7? Ah, new face! Wonderful! A new broom, wonderful, is what I'd like to say. Hey, what's this? Um... Could you look, yeah, in the other direction for a moment? Because I want to rob you. <clears throat> Actually, that's theft, that's not robbing. Robbing implies violence or a threat thereof. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close spint witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals were overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere. But you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. Yew weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the yew wand's darker reputation. Then you add the ember dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. None of that sounded like any tangible um, effects, differences, speed, handling, how much it turns, will it jitter while, while I'm flying? I wonder if it's just... hmm. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around, thank you. What are we looking for today? A broom. 2000, of course, they would be expensive, but I got the money. Huh. A sleek, superior broom designed to celebrate those who dare to dabble in the dark arts. The perfect broom for those with a fiery temperament. House broom. I flew one of those, didn't I? A broom enchanted to celebrate your particularly hot work, Hogwarts house pride. House pride? Is it like rainbow colored or whatever? 
Uh, finally crafted from ash, this broom is built for stability. A stylish broom with a light touch, quite literally. A comfortable and speedy broom with a unique woven design. So is this one faster than this one? Because it says speedy. And why does this one cost 2000? I will take this one, thank you. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Should have previewed it, maybe. Let's preview the fast one then, let's see what that does. That item is of the highest quality. That item is of the highest quality. I guess they all are. Oh, can I sell you something? A bridge, maybe. I found some bridges on my journeys. Here's one. Nice doing business with you. No, it's ugly. Thank you for the same amount of money I just spent. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go Excuse on. me? Ha! <laughs> Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct the broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Dear. <laughs> Why do you need me to report to you on this broom flight? I did try to get Imelda to help, but she has some flying habits and quirks that made her difficult to collaborate with. I need a flyer with no bad habits and the knack for flying. Your classmate Everett said you're a natural on a broom. He's forever in here studying the newest models, almost as passionate about brooms as I am. If your rumoured talent for flying can help you beat Imelda's times, then having you assess the broom will be invaluable. Sounds as though you took Kagawa's class. I did, but my focus on the technical elements of brooms rather than the art of flying drove her mad. She thinks it fitting I run spint witches now. I don't reckon either of us ever pictured me batting away bludgers for the Cannons or Puddlemere United. And I find a certain satisfaction in winning over the naysayers who think I may be too young to run this shop. With your help, I can continue proving myself the most knowledgeable purveyor of wizarding sporting goods around. How long have you had a passion for brooms? Since the moment I saw my first Quidditch match. Seeing flyers manoeuvre the way they do. Oh, some people continue to have their doubts about me and my ideas. I hope that won't dissuade you from helping. I know I'm onto something. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you! It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The uh, time trial should be no, a bit of fun too. Me. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Thanks for the money, man. Can't help but admire Mr. Weeks's enthusiasm. I wonder, how do I take flight? 
I'm pressing B for, as for broom, which last time was to get off of the broom, but apparently it doesn't get me on it. Hmm. This is maybe a no-fly zone, is that what this means? This little um, symbol there on the... I can't press Alt and point there with the mouse pointer. I'm so used to stationers. <laughs> But there was another thing here in town. Follow the butterflies. The three broomsticks. I'll say it again. Can I say enough to help you save the village from those trolls? Hello, sir. I will eat some of your wares, sir. I hope you don't mind. Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine. Willetsy. Charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. Told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly, but I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? I do, yes! If you wouldn't mind. Well, I'm your man for the job. What were the horrible stories you were told about the Forbidden Forest? Oh, goodness, everything from students being mysteriously beheaded to terrifying spider dens. Oh, trust me, you hear that at 11 years old. It sticks with you. Very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind! Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. Don't forget, the butterflies always seem to be on the fringes of the Forbidden Forest. Good luck! Don't mind if I go there right away. Um... Test my broom, of course. That's the one purpose. Is there a horse? All these inviting locked doors. When will I finally get a lockpick? Well, let me guess. Behind every door, there will be a chest with an item of clothing. Still the no-fly zone. Oh, she can do these kinds of jumps into the water. You have entered an area that allows flight. Press tab, then 3 to equip the broom on your tool wheel. What about if I just press B? Oh, that doesn't work all. Uh. Oh, here we go. That's, that's the thing. And what's that? I can also take a goat or... A falcon or a, what is this? Hmm. And press B to. Aha. Uh -huh. Tab and three. Oh. Too bad I can't really control the camera. I want to look down. I mean, that would be the first thing you want to do, right? Look how high I am. But you can't look down, dude. Have you tested this? Wow, you can go quite high. It's at least my assumption. 
I mean, it seems high, but I cannot be sure, for I cannot measure. I cannot look up or down at all. I'm trying right mouse button for aiming, but no, that doesn't work either. Pressing control. Okay. Pressing left mouse button. You know, obviously trying to press tab and three, but for some reason it didn't register. Hmm. Disappointing. Why shouldn't this work? Oh, you can do this? Aha, on the right we see a progress bar -y thing that is now filling up, so you cannot speed like that the whole time. Oh, sounds like a spider. Huh? There they are! She wasn't making it up. Well, we've come this far. Miss Willetsy might get an answer about these butterflies. Which butterflies? Did some sprite not load or did I miss something? I don't see any butterflies. Set my traps. Is it lower or upper Hogsfield? Taking on the dragon fight was the best decision I've made yet. Hogwarts is very lucky they've got protection charms. Yeah, it saves them from disposing of many dead bodies. Yes.
Not especially. Let's play, shall we? Okay. I've been here. Which begs the question, have you been here? Have I been here? Probably. I would make sense. Yeah, I've been here. Oh, there they are. Don't mind if I do. Not to the right, uh... Spiders. Oh. I can just press B, which will descend you to the ground, and then you take off if you keep pressing it. Oh, wow. Well, look what we have here. <laughs> Incendio. Oh, I see. I've probably been here. Incendio. 
Let's show off a little. Oh, what's that? Oh, nothing. Sure. Revelio. Oh, that works. Mm -hmm. Would be nice if that boost would be a little bit longer. Kind of oh. <clears throat> Sorry. Folks still talk about you taking down that troll in the village circle. Shut up, oh, mister. Please tell me you have an answer for me about the butterflies. Hello, Miss Wallensy. Well, what happened? Did you find them? They led me into the forest and revealed a treasure. Oh, how lovely! I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. Oh, perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. For now, I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see, should I dare. Mm. Looking like Prince Vlad <laughs> in Dracula. Ah, speaking of looks. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, challenges. Challengers. No, wait a minute. Anti-Venom 1. Gear trade. So that's a thing I could somehow assign to my... to the things I'm wearing, I think. Lupus is a thing.
Wait, didn't I just get some kind of police cap kind of thing? Hmm. Why is nothing new here? Neat. Let's try that again. Just checking if possibly something shows up now. Not a bug, okay. Okay, let's continue with the flying thing. But let's not teleport there. We have flight. So you can fly faster by pressing shift. And this doesn't exhaust your sprint. I wonder if I'm faster by doing both. No, shift, releasing or pressing repeatedly while sprinting doesn't have any effect. So, I was supposed to look out for high places to get someone's uh, dirt balls, right? Pavelio. Cool that you can do this. Hmm. So I'm currently doing nothing. The shift key holds itself. A race um, will follow. I wonder how, how hard I will fail. Hey you, Ravenclaw. Uh, yes, peasant. What you want? Imelda Rays? Albi Week sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. Mm-hmm. Seems someone's jealous of my skills on a broom. Me? Slytherin Quidditch captain. Jealous of you? Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Ravenclaw. I just want to point out that he just said bumbling baboons. So, um, you know. Can you tell me more about these courses? <laughs> Stalling, fifth year. <laughs> Fine, I'll humor you. This course demands focus. Requires you to anticipate speed and height before every turn. The others test stamina. Three courses in all. Built ages ago by former students. Since Black cancelled Quidditch, it was these courses or nothing. I made them popular again. Got the whole school hungry to compete. So... Let's see what you've got, fifth year. Yeah, let's go. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Hmm. Ah, success! Excellent! Oh, I 
Bei Max wird faster. Idea. Uh, that's not you must have cheated you oh uh, fine you won don't think this is over you can't determine skill from one single trial surely my win means something uh, you're not terrible but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect I don't want respect from the likes of you. All you do is insult people. You and everyone else need to get a thicker skin. Anyway, I'm moving on to the next course. It's near Irondale and offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albi Weeks. Why is she standing like she's constipated? I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fed. Sandra Eldwich. Ten seconds less. Mm -hmm. I would have to hit the two s the damn bubbles every time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know how that computes, but all right, it does compute, obviously. Ah, shit. So, Mr. Broom Salaman. Oh, 
Ah, you're back. We've something to report, I hope. Indeed, mister. May I talk to you? Oh, it didn't prompt. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent and is wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, uh -huh. thank you. Hmm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? No, oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways. Worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. <sighs> Those people don't appreciate the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flights, nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. I have a friend in Rome runs a shop like mine. Says it's worse there. <laughs> of course, they do nap in the afternoons from what I hear. And where would we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Smevik had let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to him. Cushioning charm? Is that when you fall and then you don't hit the ground hard? I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Okay, hmm. I'm expecting How to hear you from the issue so. of altitude as it relates to speed. I still have uncollected rewards in the challenges menu. Um here we go. Why is nothing exclamation pointy? Do I no longer get stuff when I get stuff? Apparently I no longer get stuff when I get stuff. I mean obviously I'm not getting stuff here. That is disappointing. So the one thing that the game had to give me as gear isn't being given any longer. Or what am I not getting? The gear, right. Oh, what's this? How can you even upgrade these? Anyway, there was something about trades. Talents, yeah. Six talents points available. This requires level 16, which I happen to have. enough spell sets for now. Increase the range of your value. I don't think so. It is already almost <laughs> overpowered. Incendio Ring of Flame. Is that a good idea? I mean, I'm standing in the castle and I want to light up some uh, torch and then everybody is on fire. Is that a good idea? Hmm. Hmm. 
quite the spells we still have to learn. Dark Arts, don't mind if I mm, take a look. Even more invisible. Hmm, yeah. I like. The kittens talk, you know. If I place myself there, I will also get a little pet. No, I'm not that cheap. What do you think? I'm a petting whore? <laughs> a treasure to be found. Oh yeah, the gobstone thing. Maybe I want to do this now, that I can fly. Hey, can I go in there with the broom? Okay. <laughs> well, I had to know. Revelia. Now I might want a wider range. Don't even know if there's something to be detected. Do these have I doors? Keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's cobblestones. Revelio. I have yet to see one gobstone. Okay, that's new. Oh. Hmm.
Leviosa. Incendio. Revelia. I'll identify a back item? Right, there was a table of identify items that you can't identify yourself. Uh, in my room of the door appears when you get near. Mm hmm. Superb. Revelia. There would have been an opportunity to make these very musical, different notes or some rhythm or whatever, but maybe I just don't know how to play them. Oh. For not or just f hmm. oh hey you know what bell oh. come over here Fly zone. Ah, uh, come on. Not really a platformer, is it? One up, one to go. Hey, that is a thing that you have to do. Interesting. Just no clue what it does. Mr. Frog, dude. Uh, what? The fuck? What? Why can you enter the frog? Incendio. Leviosa. Accio. That's probably a secret entrance of sort. 
Mounted house elf heads. Collection upgraded shell gray. Hey, where was the door? Excuse me? Oh, is this a teleporter from tower to tower? That's what that is. Motherfucker. So, oh. So, only two tower teleportation, yes? Oh, I've been here. Yep, okay, but we found a new mechanism. Pretty cool one. <laughs> oh, it's a the bell. Look, look, there's a bell. supposed to do this without any platform or um, implementation because there's an invisible wall here I cannot go there what did the bell just go to a place Where's the bell? Maybe it's back up there? Revelia. Bell is gone. I object. Seriously, I'm supposed to get it back up there? Well, just follow me then. If I may ask so.
much rather use a friendly, but I have to get it there. Revelio. Guess I have to kind of start from the top. Somehow. Come to mommy. Okay, that doesn't sound successful at all. Yeah, that could be a long thing. I'm not sure I want to do that. Would you come? Good thing this is not annoying. <laughs> the bell. Don't tell me it fell down to the ground again. So if it fell down again, then I skip this for now because oh, there it is. Hmm. Okay, one to another attempt. Actually, that wasn't so bad. Ah, uh, dude. Um Fuck, man. Ah, the algorithm of my life. Okay, I'm gonna ignore this for now. What is this? Like that would be like cool. Yeah, I'm stuck. <sighs> okay, let's unstick them. Hey there, Mr. Okay. Dutzer. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. 
This way. Yep, following. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. Revelio. Huh. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister. Anne. She loved that infernal Rebellion. game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confided in me. These trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. I think I've seen Ominous in potions, or was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it, and I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets, but this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them, Ominous cannot abide them as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. It sounds like a dangerous spell. You sound like Ominous. He frowns upon using forbidden spells. Although he did enjoy learning this one. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Oh, I, uh, done goofed? You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the targets, though. Transfiguration. Confringo, a damage spell. Hmm. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Confringo! Confringo and those candelabras. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like Incendio. Fireball. Nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. You'll get used to it. 
That's it. I think I've got it. Well done. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when, and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's to do with what you told me. About the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. And yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. Okay. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does it allow you to wield this magic too? I... I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. When I head to Felcroft, I'll send you an owl. It does have a bit more balls than this, huh? I should rearrange that. And then let's check what's with the uh, save time. Two minutes? No, thank you. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. 
You there. I can hear you. Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't uh -oh. it? Uh-oh. I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? Uh, well, I'm not supposed to talk about it. I guess let's choose the option that implies less information. That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? Hmm. You breathe a word about this place to anyone. Not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant... I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Hmm. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. Well, I want to see that. Oh, I can't, can't, can't go in there now. What they are, I wonder what they're doing down there to each other's undercroft. Anyway. Oh, there's a maid. Come and see me as soon as you can. I've returned from a rather unproductive trip to the Ministry. Hoping your time has been more fruitful than mine. Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. Am I not obviously doing that? Leviosa. It, um, um, alrighty. Um. However, it's a bit late and I have to shut the fuck down because work tomorrow. To uh, it's stupid. Why do they not respect the player's time? Hey there, person. Revelio. Spare a moment? I could use your help. You wanted to speak with me? I did. Hello, I'm Duncan Hobhouse. Pleasure to meet you. I've heard all about you, of course. Confronting trolls and dragons. I suppose it must seem that way. I'm not sure it's justified. It's often been a matter of circumstance. I'm going to presume your reputation is in the fact warranted, in which case, you are precisely the person I need. You see, we were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class, and, well, mine unfortunately took the shape of a… a puff scheme. They're adorable. Why would you be afraid of a puff scheme? They seem adorable until one sticks its tongue up your nose. Regardless of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me Puff Skeen Dunkeen. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Words can be cruel. Thank you. Poppy keeps offering to help me in overcoming my fear, but I'm too afraid to take her up on it. Anyway, 
To make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think, since I have been in the Hidden Herbology Corridor. The Hidden Herbology Corridor? Yes. Rumour has it that the Herbology Professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there. It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. What sort of plant should I expect in the Hidden Herbology Corridor? I haven't a clue. But have you seen the kinds of plants Professor Garlic grows? If the previous professor was anything like her, I'd imagine they're not exactly harmless. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. I'd very much appreciate it. Come and find me if you get the proof. I shall be forever in your debt. Forever well, is a long time for such a little thing. Don't get too cocky simply because you had one victory over Sam. Hmm. Hidden Herbology Corridor. Sounds intriguing. Oh, Hogsmeade owes you a great debt. Well done, taking down a fully grown troll. Magical lips, it appears. They don't move, yet they speak. Um, yeah, 13 seconds. That's the amount of seconds I wanted to hear. Good night!